Welcome back to the breakdown. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at Anchor's new 20,000 milliamp battery pack with a USB-C charger and USB charger. This is part of their budget line of portable battery packs, portable chargers. So the question is, what are you giving up? What's the shortcomings of this? And should you get this or should you spend a little bit more money for a higher end anchor? We'll be breaking this all down here and give you my opinion in a quick second. First though, this was not a review unit. I did buy my, this my own money to review it for you. So keep that in mind. No one has sent us this review. Second, pricing on this changes so rapidly. I hate to give you a price and have it be wrong. Check out the show notes down below and in the first pinned comment, I'll put a link to it on Amazon there. If you have a question, leave me a comment. I'll do my best to answer them in the comments down below. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, let YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. So YouTube recommends our videos to more people. We would really appreciate it. So with that said, let's start off with just looking at this device, kind of breaking down the few key features on it. It's a pretty standard little battery pack. You do have a USB-C here and a USB. Use the USB-C to charge it. You just plug it into a wall. It will automatically start charging. You can also plug your phone in using a USB-C to USB-C cable or a USB to whatever your phone may be. Um, tablet, wireless earbuds, and more. On the front here, you do have a uh, little button. Now this button, all it does is it tells you how much power is left. When you press the button, there's four lights here. I'm not sure, it's not really wanting to come in. But with that, it four lights means 100% charge, three lights means 75, two lights means 50% and more. It gives you an idea how much power is. That's all that button does. Now, if it would continuously run these lights, it would slowly drain it, even though it's LEDs. That's why they don't leave these lights on all the time. They just have this little button here. Beyond that, there's really not a whole lot to say about this device. Let's take a look at everything that came with it, and I'm gonna give you my opinions on this. Starting off with, there's one important thing here. Now, this is a very budget-friendly 20,000 milliamp battery pack. Um, for uh, Anchor, it's a, one of the cheapest options in that size out there. It'll charge your phone, four times to five times, depending on your phone. I think most iPhone, most Android users, with the exception of some higher end Samsung ones with larger batteries, should expect four to five charges of a um, phone here through this battery pack, which is really nice to get you through a weekend. Maybe you want this as a backup um, battery pack in case of long-term power outages, keep your phone power to connect it to the world. The downside is there's only a 15 uh, watt charger in this. Most phones are now 20 to 30 watts, so you're not gonna get a max charge on this. You also typically need about 18 watts for what's called a rapid charge, which is that faster than normal charge. So this is only gonna charge your devices at a standard charge, which is fine. A standard charge will charge um, Pixel uh, 8, iPhone 15s, and more. They'll give it a full charge overnight. So if you're thinking this is, hey, battery power's out, I'm gonna plug my phone in this, go to bed, wake up, have a fully charged phone off this battery pack, this is great. If you're looking at this like, hey, I need a rapid charge to get as much power as I can while I'm running between flights or I'm running anywhere, that's where this may come in a little short. I think for a lot of people though, that's not important. If you're on a plane, you're just gonna leave it connected to slowly charge your phone as you watch movies or your tablet or your Nintendo Switch, it's fine. But it is important to note that with it. Um, of course, this is targeting phones, laptops, or not laptops, phones, tablets, and wireless earbuds, for example, laptops require a higher wattage than this will do. So don't think of the, about this as charging your laptop. So overall though, two thumbs up for it being a budget-friendly battery pack. Now, are there um, faster, more powerful battery packs out there? Yes, but at this price point, Anchor's definitely saying, hey, for people who just want a very cheap, good quality battery pack that they can take with them on a flight, and have it just charge them through an entire international flight or cross country flight or wherever. Maybe you just wanna keep this around your house. I have a couple battery packs I keep around the house, fully charged in case of an extended power outage. With what I do for a living, I wanna make sure that my phone and other things will be powered and I'm connected to the world. For if nothing more than emergency information. So check that out. Two thumbs up, very much do like this battery pack for what it is. If you want to find it on Amazon, I'll put a link in the show notes and in the first pinned comment. If you're new here, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, let YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. So YouTube recommends our videos to more people, helping us grow, helping us for our families, and hopefully helping you decide if this product's right for you. Until next time, take care, be safe. I'll be back again real soon.